Hello everyone and welcome to another video and today I'm going to tell you about uh, kind of just in general uh, what films you should try out whether you're um, an amateur photographer looking to get into film or a professional photographer that uh, has money to spend and who can get uh, larger amounts and qualities of film. So first off if you're just going for a simple color uh, film all I have right now is this little end for a uh, from a box of Kodak Ultramax. Uh, you can also get Kodak Gold. Ultramax is a 400 speed film and I just generally shoot 400 speed film because I think it's good for just all purposes in general. Um, the 200 film is also good. Uh, it kind of gives you some nice grain and stuff when you're uh, in some different settings. Uh, but those would be the two um, color films that I recommend as well as some of the Fuji films, uh, some of the cheaper stuff that you can still find in stores and grocery stores and stuff. Next, if you're looking for a cheaper way to get into the black and white film, uh, I did a video on this, but uh, you can try uh, Ilford XP2 Super 400. It's a, of course, a 400 speed black and white film, but it's processed in C41. So, you're going to be able to get it processed at your drugstore or, you know, wherever you get your film processed. And I think that's a great film because, personally, I've used it and, of course, I've made videos on it. And it's, um, it's very nice and, you know, it's not true black and white, but it's the closest thing you're going to get uh, to black and white. If you're an amateur photographer and you don't have the money to send it off to a place to get it developed. So next we're moving on to kind of the, kind of it's becoming the standard in black and white photography, but that is Ilford HP5 Plus. It is a, another 400 speed film and it is a 36 exposure roll like most of these are, uh, except for the Kodak which is 24, but uh, it's great because it's a true black and white film. Uh, this is kind of getting into more of the professional range or people who will be able to develop it easily uh, as most uh, places that still develop film do not do black and white film. And here's kind of the uh, some of the older standards. Here's Kodak Tri-X. Uh, of course a 400 speed film. Uh, every little tab I've shown here is a 400 speed film. The only one I... Um, the only two I haven't uh, talked about yet is Kodak Gold, which is a 200 speed film, and uh, Fuji Film, I think, Superior or whatever you can really just buy at the store still. Uh, I'm getting some shipped that is 200. So, Tri-X is, of course, kind of the old uh, Kodak professional stuff, along with um, things like Portra. Um, this is of course a 120 roll of Portra because I don't have any 35mm uh, rolls of Portra. But uh, they are two of kind of the best uh, professional Kodak films that you can buy at the moment and um, that are still being produced. You can always get Ektar and stuff like that. But I would really stick with Triax and Portra if you're looking to go into a really grainy um, uh, black and white film. Uh, of course. There is stuff like this, which is a professional um, C41 uh, Kodak Portra. You can get black and white, I think, and uh, color Portra. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think you can get both. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I know it was kind of a short one, but I'm trying to make uh, a few videos while I still can. So... I'm going to leave links, of course, down in the description where you can get all the films that I've talked about and maybe some more that I find that are cheaper. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.